Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you the best whiteboard animation tools that you can use for your business or for your project. I'm going to compare pricing plans, then I will be showing you some advantages and disadvantages and then I will show you in every single program how we can actually create the animation and what are some also uh, differences there. So let's start. Now the first one is Doodly. Doodly is really perfect but there are some disadvantages I see. The first disadvantage is their a pricing strategy and how they work with pricing plans. When you're going to buy standard version or enterprise, yes, you're going to have the images, uh, then prop images, video templates, etc. But Doodly got plenty of in-app purchases because plenty of people expect that, okay, when I'm going to buy in a program for $40 a month, I'm going to get everything, right? It's kind of expensive. No, no, no. With a Doodly, when you come here, let's say that you want to have characters with colors, you need to actually pay another one time $67. And in this regard, they have plenty of these bundles of, I don't know, office, etc. that you can use and that you can buy. I mean, it's okay, it's their pricing strategy, but for me, it's sometimes kind of deceiving because people expect when they're gonna buy a product that they have everything there. So this is something you should definitely keep in mind. Then you have like enterprise version, uh, which is also same that you need to actually buy uh, the bundles if you want to use them but they don't have any free trial uh, you're not going to get mm, like let's say free account that you can test it out you need to actually buy the product to try the product so this is disadvantages i personally say and that don't really like and when you're going to even choose the standard version then you're going to see free pages of in-app purchases that okay like really aggressive marketing in my opinion so that's from pricing on doodly the pricing of the plans is okay but you need to keep in mind that they have uh, in-app purchases when we compare what you can actually do with the features wise in doodly what are some advantages and disadvantages here so the one thing that i like about doodly is that when you're going to upload your own image you can plan uh, how it's going to be uh, painted on a whiteboard so that's the that's thing that i really really like it's really simple to use doodly and anyone can learn in a few minutes how to use it the one thing that you should definitely keep in mind that with the doodly the transitions are a little bit clumsy and i don't really like them if you want to learn how to work with transitions so uh, that's something you should keep in mind now to go further to video scribe and then in the end of the video i'm going to show you uh, also how those animation everything work so with the video scribe you have monthly plan and yearly plan a monthly plan 25 euro yearly plan 13 uh, so as you can see it's much cheaper comparing to the doodly and video scribe what are some advantages and disadvantages of video scribe first advantage that they have actually uh like characters with colors that you can use and you don't have to pay additional for the plugins that's a huge thing now the next thing uh, what i like is that mm, you can create and edit your own hand that is going to paint so this is huge too that if you don't like the hand in a uh, doodly you can change those but they are kind of limited not exporting but scene settings so you can really create your own and or cartoon hands here you can create your own in video scribe so that's another thing the next thing is that you can actually test it out and you don't have to pay anything so for example i downloaded video scribe and i didn't pay a dime so you can test it out if you like it or no uh, the transitions are better in video scribe and it's really simple to create those only because uh, you just click here and you edit the settings how it's going to work out so <clears throat> that's another thing uh, now to go further even to video scribe uh, what i don't like is that sometimes it can be clumsy if you're going to upload your own image so let's say that you're gonna mm, upload your own image and doodly have an advantage over video scribe that you can actually animate how the hand is going to paint and sometimes it can be clumsy so keep in mind in both you can work with music in both you can add a text so both doodly and both video scribe the next one i prepared for you is Toonly. plenty of people uh like are comparing doodly with Toonly and what are the differences with the Toonly, you can really create a whiteboard animation uh, only because with Toonly you can achieve um, the 
how would I call it, the cartoon explainer videos. And another thing that I wanted to share about video scribe with the video scribe guys, keep in mind that you don't have many scenes here. You got more scenes with Doodly if you want to use Doodly comparing to video scribe. So that's also really critical, important information. Now with the Toonly, I bought the program too. You have scenes here, you have backgrounds, but again, it's for explanation of videos here. So that's something you should definitely keep in mind. And uh, Toonly is for that. But again, with the Toonly, I'm going to share some disadvantages and advantages. You're going to see the settings here. You can change the type if it's a holding a mobile, holding a camera, but you can't really edit the characters. You can uh, you can't change the clothes. You can't uh, like create your own character in Toonly. And this is one huge disadvantage I have with the Toonly. Also, sometimes the Toonly feels like without a soul, you know? So that's another thing you should definitely keep in mind. To go further, uh, the next one I prepared for you and the best one out of all four that I'm presenting you is Beyond. Beyond Studio and what they created is a top-notch thing. And let me explain why. Yes, their pricing plan is pretty expensive. It's the most expensive out of all. Even because the Toonly is the same with the Doodly on the pricing department. But Beyond, Essential Premium Professional and Essential, uh, the Beyond logo will be imprinted in the bottom left of the each video. I wouldn't recommend it. So Premium is really good, $649. And you can also test it out for free. You don't have to add cards. So you get 14 day free trial. And then you have going to see Professional for 999 and uh, you're gonna see if you want to work with a professional you need to have a team so you don't really need it if you don't have team premium is like enough now to go further how it actually works look at this scenes add a scene choose a template first we have a cs catering charts concept education finance government let's go with the finance you're going to see plenty of templates that you can use the one thing that i really like about beyond is that you can use it also for cartoon explain videos that you get like let's say insurance and you can choose plenty of uh, scenes here more than doodly more than video scribe more than toonly so beyond is winning from the scene department when i come here and again i'm going to finance and i'm going to choose Let's say ATM lining up and I'm going to delete this character and this character. What I can do is this click a character. Again, they got most characters out of all out of Doodly, Video Scribe and Toonly. The huge thing with a Beyond is that you can actually create your own character. So, OK, I got a head. I can change the face here. I can change the hair. I can change the mouth, the eye, also the eyebrow, nose. Then I got to see the top here. Again, I can change it. Bottom. I can change it too. And accessories. So uh, that's something what you can create. And this is huge comparing to the, all the competition. Now, that, that this is just the beginning. So let's say I'm going to choose a casual person here. Like the boy here. Look what I can do. Choose a boy. Now I'm going to create an action. Again, it's better than Toonly only because you can preview how it looks like. And you can really choose which one you want. So hide, daydream or desk typing. And everything is for whiteboard animation. So let's say that I'm going to... Um, like, let's say it's fall in love so I can preview it how it looks like okay it looks really good and look at this I'm going to I have it here so what I can do I can rotate it mirror and this is the one thing the second thing is that let's say that comparing to Tony to animate you need to click settings type holding a camera but you can you don't see the preview so then you don't have even so many animations comparing to Beyond. This is how the program is so damn fascinating. Action. I can choose like, let's say cooking, catering, but let's leave it like this. Then the one thing and huge advantage comparing to the others and why Beyond is the best, in my opinion, is the way how we can work with the expressions. So, OK, he's happy or cry or I'm going to make him happy. 
and then you have expression if he's going to face the camera or right side right so that's what you can do uh then you have dialogue that you can add enter effect if it's going to be whiteboard real hand or you can also choose if it's not going to be but as you can see it's the most uh expensive ones but the quality is outstanding so i'm going to preview it now and look at this see and voila you can also change the order of everything of course but this is pretty much it how it works now uh, with the tunely again as i mentioned this is like without the soul i just wouldn't use tunely in my opinion you can of course like when you have poppy here or your chart text audio you can work with things here and you can add your own blank scene and you can really really work with things here so that's something you should definitely keep in mind uh, now with the video scribe how it looks like let me show you i'm going to preview video scribe is also good if you want to use cheap whiteboard animation tool and this is how would i summarize it beyond is the best ones with the animation scene wise and uh, how we can work with it and how we can work with things but video scribe and doodly are the best if you want to create simple whiteboard animation but keep in mind if you want to use doodly you need to uh, actually uh, have some in-app purchases if you want to use characters and objects with the colors so that's something you should definitely keep in mind but if you're okay with that use doodly and huge advantage of doodly is that with the doodly you're gonna have actual uh, how would i call it you're gonna actually uh, can the animate how the whole image is going to be drawn out so that's pretty much it thank you very much guys for watching let me down below in comments which one you like the most if you have any questions ask me down below have a great day and goodbye see ya